The first station, Jesus is condemned to death, the authority of Christ, and we praise you. Because my only cross we have a kingdom of the world. Lord, you were held captive and given a death sentence. This was truly undeserved, but nonetheless it was still carried out, even though you were innocent. There are thousands upon thousands in our world today who have been held captive by this pandemic, not knowing what their fate will be. People in cities, large and small, neighborhoods, people confined to their own homes and nursing homes and care facilities for those in quarantine. They too are innocent victims, victims of a disease that cannot be seen, tasted, or felt. But for many people, the sickness can quickly become a death sentence. We hold their futures in prayer. Remember those in jails and prisons people being kept in immigration holding areas, for those who work and volunteer there, so that everyone's physical and mental health is protected. We pray
devastation, Jesus fall the second time. In the glory of Christ, and we praise you. Take one way to the cross of the world. Lord, the weakness again overcomes you, and you fall on the way of the cross that you bore on our behalf. We pray in respect to the weakness of our health care and government system and the ability to fight this unknown entity of coronavirus. We have never experienced something like this and we never and we need your help in combating it. We are stronger when we are unified in you, Lord. In these past several months, we have identified many weaknesses in our country, state and community, in regards to following laws put in place for safety, COVID testing, vaccine production, distribution, and follow-up. Even the type of masks that we should wear and the necessity of those masks. Please help us repair the weak links in our healthcare system so that we can advance and work together for the care of all people watch over us and unite us. Holy, Holy Spirit, inspire us to set aside differences and help us out to the occasion to do the work to the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And to what we give you now, and to the world the eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Lord, some of your friends were reaching out to you in your greatest time of need. In these challenging times, we see instances of family and friends helping one another. We see friends and strangers alike taking it upon themselves to check on neighbors and make visits to those who are elderly, even if it is just through a window or under a heater outside in the cold. So many volunteers and medical workers are coming together for many hours, standing in the heat and cold and even outdoors to test vaccinated and diagnosed. We see medical pro professionals putting themselves on the line every day, taking care of the sick, often not knowing of the illness that is being presented is COVID-19, a new virus influenza or a common cold. We hold you in prayer all those who are in the town who are concerned for their loved ones and do everything they can to protect them. Watch over them, encourage them. Holy Spirit, give them an understanding. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Lord, your pain is from your head to your feet was burning and overwhelming. It took immense concentration to put one foot in front of the other. Your pain was so intense that you fell again. You had to be exhausted. No one can imagine what you were going through. This pandemic and all of its effects seem to have overwhelmed and exhausted the entire world. <clears throat> we have had a hard time understanding that we are living in this day and age where a virus crossed borders, infected millions, caused millions of deaths, and challenged economies. This anger and fear has transitioned at times into a name-calling riotous reaction and violence. Is this the violent panic and rage we have seen? A part of the cross that dropped you to the ground. We have failed to treat each other with love as you taught us. Displaced anger becomes a cross that causes each of us to fall and take others with us. Watch over us and change our hearts, Holy Spirit, to convict us so we can lift each other up. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the Tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore your Christ and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, when you were stripped of your clothing, you were mocked and debased. We have seen instances of those who are being mocked and profiling for this virus. We ask forgiveness for times when we have been afraid of someone because of their culture, their ethnicity, their age, or their income level. We are all your children, and we must treat one another with dignity and care. But this virus has affected certain groups
and sisters disproportionately. This has made a greater divide in our support for each other. We pray for those in our world, country, and town who are some of the most vulnerable to this virus. People at the margins, those who have underlying health concerns, the aged, and those with disabilities. Watch over them. Build them up. May they receive the vaccinations they need in a timely fashion. Holy Spirit, open our eyes to see that it is unfair, prejudicial, and discouraged to stand up for those that need. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Beloved Satan, Jesus is now to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Lord, you were nailed to the cross and raised high that all the seeds of them. Your suffering and dying, and the dying force of your body with every breath you took. Your mother never left you, and a few of your friends stood by and held vigil for you. Even in your pain, you reached out to the thief next to you and assured him of salvation. We also seek assurances at this time. We look back over the months and see how our lives have been altered. Every single person on the earth has been touched by the same disease and at the same time. Some have helped felt death and the loss of being in the presence of family and friends or in the depth of their ability to sustain their families as they have lost employment or death of their mental well-being because of distancy, isolation, and despair. Many children are still unable to attend school in person, and this along with the increase in addictions and domestic abuse add to the pain of many families. Life as we knew it a year ago has changed all over the world. Help us to find assurances in you, your promise that we are not alone. We all understand this and recognize your presence. Watch over all of them. Unite them, Holy Spirit, and may we see Christ in each other. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. The twelfth station, Jesus died on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, your death was a pain-filled sacrifice. You died for each one of us. Unselfish, humble, perfect, and complete was your surrender. Your death freed us from the pain of eternal separation from you. We pray for those in our world, nation, state, and community who have died from or will succumb to the coronavirus. from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Lord, your body was removed from the cross, and your mother was there to accept your broken and lifeless body. Her grief, sorrow, and confusion may have been coupled with fear and anger. Yet she had hope. She knew you, and she loved, she loved you, and was filled with hope. She was unsure what that hope consisted of. Yet she was sure you would not leave us alone and abandoned. As people become sick with this unknown virus, we grieve for those who died. Too often the families of those who have died in the past years were not able to gather in prayer together. Some parts of the world, people have to be buried in mass graves and the pandemic swarm. We live in a time of sadness and confusion, a time of fear and anger. Many live in distrust, and depression. We look to your mother, our blessed mother, as a model of hope in the face of the unknown. Watch over us, Mary, our mother. Please pray for us. Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Lord, 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 of the Lord,
worship of this sacrament is your holy body and blood. Help us to experience the salvation you want for us, the peace of the kingdom. For you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Thank you. 